He's had matches in WWE. Well, he's had right, jobber they're matches. On, they're on don't, make me a, don't tell me a fucking jobber counts in this, Mike. I'm saying private party. I'm saying guys like that. Private party like, are not ready. Private party are not ready for this. They are good. They I are? love them. What? Yeah, they are. No. No. Why not? Absolutely not. not. They not? They are not ready. Private and party they, with Matt Hardy uh, as a oh, manager? Oh, you, you, know what you, you know what you just fucking did? You know what you care. just fucking did, Mike? You evoked the Matt Carlins. Mainstream Matt is here. Mainstream Wait Matt, up. what do you have God. to say? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Are you hearing me all right? Yeah, we got you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stop spinning. I, it's not helping your bandwidth. A long time ago, I made a vow to myself. I would never have a conversation about AEW with Mad Mike ever again. <laughs> and look what you've done to me, Mike. <laughs> look what you've done to me. <laughs> you've drawn me out. Are you happy? You've drawn me out. Now tell me what you want to say. Say it to my face. <laughs> anyway. Um, um, I'm going to say that anyone who has been in WWE after a year of AEW's existence should not be a champion right now. All right, elaborate. Uh, you're look me look a at the male champions. That. You have Dean Ambrose, Stardust, and the Revival. That's what <laughs> you have. And I'm um, sorry. I'm sorry. FTR hasn't really I, looked I, the world I, on I'm fire in AEW. Cody as a, uh, a, I'm counting Cody's Kurt character as a bit of a reinvention since Stardust. Um, yeah, and, he's uh, I would Rhodes. even say that uh, he has virtually nothing to do with you know what he was in WWE. So I would consider Cody a, a pretty fresh incarnation. Uh, I get your frustration with um, you know the um, the former WWE guys. Um, 